Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me. Hi, I'm Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic, I'm an energy channeler, I'm a tarot reader, and I'm an astrologer. And in this video, I will be doing my upteenth video on the coronavirus, but this in this video, I will be doing a reading on the coronavirus and unemployment. So thank you for listening and watching. If you would be interested in part two of this psychic reading on the coronavirus and unemployment, check out my Vimeo where my psychic reading for on the coronavirus and unemployment will be available available for purchase and download or purchase and rent. I'm sorry. The link to my Vimeo will be sorry my cat's over here like messing with my paint. It's like really annoying. But my um. He just wants attention. But my the link to my Vimeo will be in the description box. It will also be in the comment section of this video. So thank you for listening and watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment, and share with your friends and family. Keep in touch with me on my social media, Lamar Townsend Tarot on Instagram and Facebook. If you would be interested in a personal reading from me, I am available at lamartownsendtarot.com. All right, you can purchase a reading directly from my website. You can also schedule a reading with me via Schedule City via my website. Um, also, thank you for listening and watching. When you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button and hit all notifications so you get all notifications every time I go live or upload a brand new video. Here we are in my living room, or actually my dining room, which I just kind of redecorated today. Um, and I'm still in the process of decorating it, so I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy this little change of scenery. I'm usually in my little office in my room, but I decided to do something different today. So let's go ahead and see what the angels, ancestors, and protectors have to tell us about the coronavirus and unemployment. So as usual, the first thing I want to do before I get into the energy channeling is that I want to cleanse the energies with some cinnamon. As you all know, I have not found any sage, but the good news is that I just got a sage plant. Um, well, a mini sage plant. It was actually a pot full of other herbs. Sage was one of the herbs included. And I'm hoping that that grows really, really bushy and tall and luscious so that I can start making my own sage sticks, you all. They're really easy to make. You just dry them out, um, dry the leaves out anyway. Cinnamon is also a very protective herb. It's also actually very good at cleansing the air from any viruses, from any um, negativity or diseases. So it's really good when it comes to protecting yourself from the coronavirus. Thank you, Father God, for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting my thoughts, minds, emotions, and spaces of those and the minds of those who are watching this video. Um, in Jesus' name I pray, and the energies of those watching this video, in Jesus' name I pray, and thank you, amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for opening up the channel so that I can get a good reading on the coronavirus and unemployment, in Jesus' name. Thank you for allowing me to be your mouthpiece, Father God. Thank you for speaking through me and allowing us to know what you need us to know. In Jesus' name I pray, and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. I hear downsizing, so now is a really, really good time to downsize. Um, Cut certain expenses where you need to cut cut expenses, especially if you are worried or concerned about the loss of your job or uh, struggling to pay bills in some way. I, I do feel like there's going to be some sort of relief, uh, whether in the form of some sort of stimulus from the government, the stimulus bill that they just passed, or in the form of grants. I feel like there's going to be certain grants and opportunities for you to get some extra income. I feel like certain bill collectors, landlords, debt collectors may come to you with these opportunities. Um, so I feel like if they do, take them. Um, but I also feel like there's going to be um, some sort of leeway. I feel like a lot of debt collectors and people, if you just communicate what's going on with you, I feel like it will be some sort of leeway. Some people may be forced to move back home, though. Some people will be forced to, to move in general. So we're going to see a lot of people migrating, I feel like, from the major cities like New York. I feel like California, um, I feel like LA to be specific, um, I don't know why I just heard Burbank as well, like North North California, could also be North Carolina, um, seven states such as Georgia, Kentucky, Mississippi, Alabama, a lot of people are going to start leaving and migrating out of these spaces, Atlanta, I'm also hearing and seeing, um, I don't know why I feel like this unemployment situation um, is also going to affect Hollywood. So we may see certain celebrities move out of their homes where they live um, and they may no longer be a part of certain TV shows. It's like, you know, one of the Atlanta Housewives 
forecloses on their home or you know there's no checks coming in so they have to move out of Atlanta and it's kind of like well you're no longer in Atlanta so we can't allow you to be a part of the show anymore maybe you could be a friend and pop up every now and then but I feel like this whole un unemployment situation isn't just affecting normal people like you and me it's also affecting people at the top in terms of you know celebrities and stuff like that um, the unemployment rate is going to continue to rise but people filing for unemployment benefits is going to continue to rise i feel like there's going to be issues where they may actually stop unemployment or they uh, un benefits so they may start putting people on a halt or a stop or you know how sometimes it's like uh when you apply for college and you get put on the wait list like i feel like they're going to start putting people on the wait list for unemployment benefits because there's just going to be so i feel like it could reach up to 12 million people have applied for like unemployment benefits in some way shape or form um a lot of people are going to no longer be able to go to work because people are going to start getting sick and i hear dropping like flies um so some people and this could be due to the coronavirus this could be due to other issues but i feel like as people like especially when it comes to essential businesses and, and it's interesting because some essential businesses out there are actually not so essential but they're still open you know they're just kind of flying under the radar but anyway some of these businesses will have people quit um but these businesses are going to want to keep it under the radar as to as to what actually their employees fall sick from um so as to not uh, like so as to not cause issues with with clients coming in or customers coming in so I feel like, uh, you know, there's a lot of misinformation out there. And I talked, I've talked i talked about this in one of my lives before. We're inside an Aquarius, which can be the season of misinformation, confusion, and stuff like that. Also, Neptune and Pisces. And I believe the last time I checked, it's probably changed by now, but Mercury was in Pisces a few days ago when I looked up the just astrology of the day kind of thing. Um, but we're dealing with a lot of Pisces energy at this time which is all about confusions and illusions. So, like I said, you can't believe everything you read, but um, I also don't believe anything you read about, like, I feel like people not hiring. I feel like people are hiring. There are businesses hiring because there's people quitting, not just because some people are getting sick, but some people are just afraid. There are, some people are just kind of like, this is my time to quit. This is my time for me to do something else. I can't keep doing this shit. That's what I see some people being like. You know, um, there's going to be a lot of new businesses sprouting up because people are going to start to kind of get in this phase where they want to start new businesses and, um, you know, people have to find new ways of making money, you know. Um, a lot of selling stocks as well I'm seeing over these, these next few months. Um, but I feel like... While there's panic and fear, I feel like I pick up the month of April, so it's like if there's any businesses that have shut down or have been put on hold, I feel like maybe around April certain businesses that are kind of essential, like non-essential but kind of essential, like maybe the nail shops or something like that, um, although the nail shops may be more delayed. I'm not sure, but certain businesses are going to start opening up, and I feel like next month, or this month actually, which is April, wow. Um, anyway, <laughs> I feel like some businesses, but there could be like a small window of that, because I feel like it's, I think the, the rate in which people are contracting this virus is going to go up and down, up and down, it's going to be really weird. There's so many ways to catch it, I feel like, and they're discovering, the, you know, the different ways to catch it, it's not just through through the the air particles it's not just by touch there's other ways to catch it too i'm picking up as well um which i've touched on um in a lot of my coronavirus videos i'm sure um but i feel like if you do happen to catch the coronavirus focus on your air quality in your home focus on resting focus on breathing trying to breathe in fresh air quality um drinking a lot of fluids a lot of vitamin c fluids with vitamin c preferably um and i'm seeing eat a lot of greens and vegetables like it's your immune system that's actually going to fight the virus off there is a, an ability to overcome it if you catch it like you know not everyone dies from it but it really deals with like the care you take when you do catch it possibly if you if you if you do god forbid knock on wood i don't know I don't, this table actually isn't wood 
whatever, I'll find some wood later. Um, um, but there is, there's a possibility to fight it. Don't drink milk. Don't don't try it if you do catch it or if you get any like weird symptoms. Don't drink milk. Don't 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 drink dairy. Don't um because this will just create more phlegm and mucus. Do not uh try not to have too many carbohydrates because this will actually deplete your body of hydration. I'm picking up like I would say the best diet to have if you feel any weird symptoms is to have an alkaline diet, which is. Uh, foods that are rich in hydration, foods foods that are rich in water, basically. Um, I'm kind of picking up around the time when I think the unemployment uh, is gonna is gonna level off a bit and it's gonna get a little bit better. Like you know, it, the economy is not gonna be hit so hard. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and get into that in part two of this reading. So thank you for listening and watching. If you want to know more about the coronavirus and unemployment once again check out part two on my vimeo thank you for listening and watching i'll see you in the next video or i'll see you for your own personal reading either way i'll see you soon remember i am available for personal readings and i would love to read for you make sure you check out my website lamartownsandtarot.com to get your reading you can also follow me like me on my social media lamar townsend tarot on facebook and instagram and i thank you for listening and watching god bless you God keep you, and until next time, I will see you in the next video. I'll see you for your own personal reading. Love and light, and stay safe out there.